Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below if you guys want to see more of my videos. This video is going to be a clothing haul and also a tiny, tiny Ulta haul. I did get a package from Ulta not that long ago and I figured I would show you guys what I picked up. But this main focus of this video is going to be on this clothing haul that I um, recently got and it is a collab with Top Loft Clothing. I was contacted by Samantha March here on YouTube. Um, me and her have been pretty close friends on YouTube for quite some time now and she contacted me and her sister actually runs this website um, and she wanted to send me a few items to you know collab with, show you guys my thoughts and opinions on the clothing and yeah so I thought that was really aw awesome. I love clothes and I think everyone knows that because I do a lot of clothing haul and you know fashion try on videos and stuff like that. I love makeup but I also do love fashion. So she was nice enough to contact me and send me some clothes from her sister's company which is called Top Laugh Clothing. So if you guys have never watched Samantha March here on YouTube, I'm going to leave her channel down below. Um, her sister is the one that owns this clothing company but she was the one that contacted me and wanted to do this collab. So thank you so much Samantha. I will leave her channel linked down below. You guys should definitely check her out. She's so genuine and such a sweetheart. I love her videos. She's very passionate about what she does and definitely definitely go check her out if you have not already so don't forget to check out the clothing website so far I really like the clothes and this is what they're about me it says it says at top left we are passionate about providing you with the latest trends and great prices we are constantly finding new brands and fabulous items that we can share with you if there is something you are wanting us to carry please reach out to us and let us know so that's really cool about them and they are located in Iowa. So I will leave the website down below so you guys can check the website out yourself. And they have a lot of stuff online. They have like scarves, clothes, um, mu basics, must-haves, stuff like that. They have workout stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what I chose and picked out. And yeah. When I received my package, everything was packed nicely and I got this little card. It's like her little business card and it says Top Left Clothing on it and it says thanks XO Steph. It has like her phone number on here um, and the website. You can visit them on Facebook. So it's this cute little business card. So the first thing that I picked out is actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Um, I have it kind of off my shoulder but I think you're supposed to kind of like have it like just normal but you can do whatever you want. I like to have clothes like kind of off my shoulder and it's just this like basic black and white top but it has this kind of like material. I'll get close so I could show you guys. So this shirt ran for $46 and I actually really like the way it fits. It, like I said, I, I like to be able to have the option of kind of like pulling it off of my shoulder, but also you can just wear it, you know, like this, and then it comes up like this, and then if you wear it off your shoulder, it kind of just hits right here, and then like I said, it gets longer in the back. But yeah, like I said, this was $46. That to me is like a tiny bit price on the pricey side, but honestly, if it's good quality, I don't mind. Because like I said, I am someone that really enjoys like fashion. And I like high quality clothing. I don't like when I pay, you know, $15 for a shirt and then it just doesn't last. So it's kind of not really worth it. So I guess you get what, what you pay for is what I'm trying to say. And this feels really good quality. It seems really nicely made. It doesn't seem like it's going to like tear or rip. And I think $46 is a good price for a good quality kind of sweater. It is on the thinner side. It's not really thick, but I really like that because really hot when I'm working and I'm always using a blow dryer at work. You guys are new, I am a hairdresser. So it is, I get very hot very easily. So I don't like to wear like extremely heavy materials. Since we are getting in the colder months, it is actually snowing out right now, which I don't even wanna go there. But um, I don't like to wear like extremely heavy, heavy material. So that's why I really like this. And I think it's really good quality made. I highly recommend this shirt. Really like it. This next item that I picked out was a blanket scarf. You cannot go wrong with blanket scarves. So this one runs for $22, which I think is a perfect price 
for a blanket scarf that is pretty much like the prices you find like at Target and stuff like that for these kinds of scarves and sometimes a lot higher priced. So I think $22 is actually a really good price for this because it's very good quality. Definitely very um, kind of like on the thicker side and you have an option of um, you know different wearing it different ways because it is such a big scarf. I can't really show you guys the size of it, but this is the pattern of it right here. It has those reds, blues, kind of like green, greenish yellow in here. And I just think that these are just like so cozy and I love blanket scarves so much. So I obviously didn't like put this on like how I would style it, but I wanted to just give you guys an idea of like what it looks like. You just cannot go wrong with blanket scarves and this will go with so many different things because there's so many different colors in it and I don't own really anything like this so I'm a huge fan of this it's just so warm and cozy love it next item that I got were these pants and these run for $39 I got a size small so they run kind of like in legging sizes and they're this material right here so they're very stretchy as you can see like very stretchy and I really like the pattern on them as you can see it has this like texture right here and they have little zippers on the ankle so if you can see right here and the back of them doesn't have any pockets on them and that's what I like about them I don't know I don't really own any like jeggings that don't have pockets so they're like they feel like legit leggings on but they're not so you kind of feel like you're putting together an outfit really quick and it doesn't really look like you didn't put any effort in because they do give you the like vision of jeans but they're very comfortable so if you want to be very comfortable I would definitely recommend these they fit really comfortably I would say if you are someone that's built more like muscular like I am maybe go up in a size um, I have a smaller waist and kind of like bigger hips but legs um, but these did fit me and I don't have a problem with wearing them but they are just maybe a little bit too tight but I'm still gonna wear them and I think they do look nice especially with like boots and stuff and um, like a flowy top and I really enjoy the color of this so these come in a few other colors online I believe they come in white olive this color there was like a kind of more pink color and I think there was black too I'm not positive I will have it linked down below for you guys um but yeah these are actually like really nice they're very stretchy like I said so they're not restricting by any means and they have like the elastic band on the top here so I really do enjoy these and I'm gonna try to try them on for you guys and throw it in the clip so you can see what they look like on and then the last item that I picked up from the store was this shirt right here it's this really pretty like green mint color and the shoulders are cut out of it and it's kind of like I don't know how to explain this material it's like definitely a see-through um, you would probably want to wear maybe like a white tank top underneath to make the color pop more that's what I like to do with colors like this when they're kind of see-through to make it more like opaque I like to wear like a white tank top underneath so the color looks more vibrant but it's just this basic um, shirt and it has the little holes cut out of the sleeves and this runs for $36 so because I've never like worn this yet I can't really say you know how the quality is and you know if I think it's worth the $36 but I really like the style of the shirt so I definitely would have paid probably $36 if I saw this in a store just because I really like the way it looks and I think it fits really nicely and the quality does seem like a higher end quality shirt. I don't know, personally me, I don't think it's crazy expensive, but if you're someone that's on a budget, you may think that that's a little too pricey for a shirt, but like I said, you guys get what you pay for. If you want good quality clothing items, then you're gonna pay a little bit more for that. And everything I got was a size small, just so you guys know. So that was everything that I picked out from Top Loft Clothing. I definitely highly recommend this company. The clothes seem really well made 
and I don't know, I really enjoy it and there was so much stuff on the website that I really liked and wanted to purchase but I've been trying to like not spend a lot of money because of the holidays but thankfully she did send me this stuff for free. I didn't have to pay for it just because I am doing a video on it but like I said, I'm always very honest with my opinions and if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you guys. That's just the way it is. I am just very brutally honest and I'm sorry if you guys don't like that but I think think that it's better to be that way that way you know you guys will know for future if you guys should try stuff out and stuff like that so that is it for the clothes so I'm just gonna jump on into the Ulta haul that I got just recently so I know I just put up a Ulta video a couple videos ago but the reason why I purchased this um, particularly was because I wanted to pick up this and this is the Christmas in New York by Too Faced and this is the Mary Macaroons vanilla scented eyeshadow palette and it comes with a little mascara the Too Faced better than sex so this is why I purchased this Ulta order was because I was afraid it was gonna run out and I really wanted to get my hands on this so it's so cute so let me show you guys when you open it up I did open this up already, I didn't use it yet, so I can't tell you guys like how the quality is. But it's this little box that I think is so cute, and you take the top off, and it opens up like this. And it's just like this little cute setup, and then you have your mascara in here, and then the eyeshadows are in here. It's this little eyeshadow palette, so I'm going to take that out for you guys and show you how beautiful it is. This is what it looks like. It is made out of cardboard, so it's not like, you know, extremely stunning packaging. And it is magnetic, which is really nice. This is just a piece of tape on it to keep it shut. But these colors, guys, are so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of the colors. So this is the palette close-up. There are so many pretty colors in here. There's this purple that I think is so pretty. As you can see, the pigmentation is really really nice so this is that kind of like darker purple color and then there's this really pretty gold right here so so stunning guys I'm obsessed I just really enjoy Too Faced eyeshadows and products and this does smell like vanilla it's just the cutest little palette and I really wanted to get my hands on it it was $36 I believe for the whole thing the little setup with the mascara and the eyeshadow and I just thought it was such a good like price range because you get um, how many eyeshadows are in here let me count this comes with 12 eyeshadows and they're pretty decently sized so I just had to place this order because of this itself I just couldn't pass this up. So if you watched my October favorites, which was the video before this one, I talked about the Soap and Glory, Glory? No. Soap and Glory Flake Away Body uh, Scrub. This stuff is amazing, so I had to buy the full size, and this will last you so long. And the smell of it, I just can't. So I know in that video I said that it smelled like sexual and like manly, but I brought the little one to work with the girls I work with and they smelt and they didn't think it smelled manly at all. They were like, this smells very like fruity, which it does smell fruity. I don't know if I just like smell a cologne that smells like this and I, that's what I'm thinking of, but to me it smells like very sexy. Like it has a sexy scent to it. I don't know. It's not like manly. Like it definitely smells like, like girly, but it's like a very sexy scent in my opinion. And so I did purchase the full size of this, and I'm just obsessed with this. It's so good, especially for, like, fake tanning. If you are self-tanning and you need to get all the dead skin off, this works like a dream. It's not too harsh. It's just really, really good. Highly recommend this product. The next thing that I picked up is this Becca Highlight in Opal. So I do own the Becca Highlight in Champagne Pop, obviously, because Queen, Jaclyn Hill, um, if you don't own that, then you're doing life wrong. So this is Opal, and I've never owned Opal before, and I've just seen so many people talk about it before, and I'm a highlight junkie, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy the full size of Opal and try it out. So I don't know if you guys can see it because the lighting is kind of bright in here, but it's just such a pretty highlight. I am wearing that on my face today, so this is Opal on my cheeks. 
it's honestly a little more subtle than I thought it would be. Like when I swatch it, it's really not like stark white, which I really enjoy actually. Um, it's just a really pretty highlight when it catches the light right. It's not too harsh, which I've been really enjoying. So I definitely am a fan of this. I'm going to use it in a, in a few upcoming tutorials, so look out for that. The next thing that I picked up was the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. So, I keep going back and forth between the brow definer and then I was using the Benefit, um, the new brow pencil, I forget what it's called exactly, but I've been really missing the Brow Wiz. I haven't used it in so long. I used to be obsessed with the Brow Wiz and I just was feeling like I needed this baby back in my life. This is what the start of like brows were to me, so I really just wanted to pick it up again. I got the color Taupe and that is what I used on my brows today and I do love this product I I just you know it's just one of those products that I feel like I'll always love because it was the start of like my brow journey which sounds so dramatic but this is what really helped me kind of like grow my brows and def not grow them but learn how I liked to fill them in because the pencil is very thin and very small you can be very precise with this so if you're a beginner, I would definitely try the Brow Wiz out. I know everybody loves the Brow Definer, which I do too, and it does make your brows fill in quicker than the Brow Wiz, but I almost find they look a little sloppier because the pencil's so big that it kind of just like fills a large area at once, but this is more like when you want to actually make separate hairs. So I'm just a huge fan of the Brow Wiz, and I will always love this so much. So to wrap this video up, the last product that I picked up was this NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Mason. The reason why I picked this up is because of Casey Holmes. She did a tutorial on YouTube, and she used this on her lips. And when I first, I think it was a drugstore makeup look, and when I saw the thumbnail, I was like, excuse me, honey, those lips are drugstore because I'm going to need to know what color that is and I'm going to buy it right now. And that's exactly what I did. So I um, looked at her description, watched the video, and she used this one. And it is like this really gorgeous brown shade. It's actually kind of like a poop shade, which I love shades like that. But um, it's just a very pretty like neutral brown. It's gorgeous and it's matte and it's from the drugstore and it's by NYX, which is such a good brand. I would definitely recommend this. I did wear this yesterday and it lasted a pretty amount of time. It's not like a liquid lipstick, obviously. You're not going to get the same effect, um, but it is a really pretty color and it's a nice formula. So if you are someone that doesn't like like the drying feeling of a liquid lipstick, these are very like moisturizing, but they are matte. So I really really enjoy this product. So that is the end of this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this and definitely check out the Top Left Clothing Company. I think that she does a really great job and if you go online she has so many different like styles and that's what I really like. It's not just like one style. There's like a mixture of different things and that's what I really really enjoy about this. So that is it guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.